Hey, we're here on the uh, Tennessee Concrete Association grounds. And we're at the CFA show, Concrete Foundation Association show. We're gonna do a demo here. And we got the Helix guys here. We got David and we got Jay from Helix. We got Paul. Where are you from, Paul? Fox Blocks. Fox Blocks. Right on. And I'm Glenn. And we're doing this demo. We just built a wall with no rebar in it. We're gonna put concrete in it full of Helix. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, this one's only going two rows high. We did that so we could watch the flow of helix coming through here. And of course, we're going to use our fox buck on the ends. You know, we're going to just buck that off. That'll be great. And then we got all this bracing that the contractor close by. What's that guy's name? Ryan. Ryan Gunn. Mid-South ICF. He borrowed us this stuff. It's awesome. And they gave us this bag. <laughs> this is such an awesome bag. It's just full of tools. These guys are awesome. And so we're gonna come around here. I just wanna show you some other stuff. We have, um, we have these things. These are relatively new and they're at the show and this wall is built with them. And you just take this box. This box has Fox blocks on it. And in here, you have all of these ties. And these ties, we put this down. Oh, look at that, I could use a corbel wedge and I can put that on one side and I could just slide these ties in here and when you fill them it's way harder and look how easy this is even if I'm filming so I could do a double corbel I could do a double taper I could I could do a single taper I could do just a solid block that's what we did over here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this block which is our curb block this is an eight inch curb block I'm going to cut it Put it in that wall, we're gonna put concrete in it, we're gonna pull our form off. Just happen to have all the cutting marked out. It's also 100 degrees out and humid. And I'm not from this weather. So what I did is I marked down 11 and a quarter, two by 12. That's what we had. We didn't have any plywood, so that's what we're gonna use. So I took this chunk out, leaves us a curb block that has these filling strips right in the dead center of the block. Now I can attach to that. I don't need my saw anymore, so I can put this in place Now we would put a piece of forming plywood along that, pour out concrete, then we take the forming plywood off, and we have a curb that's four inches. Now, I could just grab my saw again, and I could cut a taper in here, and now I would have four or five, six and five eighths inch of concrete for a ledge. So normally, I would use plywood. In this case, I have two by 12. Now, as long as I put a screw in each one of the ties, it's gonna hold that concrete so that the back doesn't blow off. The screws are gonna hold it. After concrete, I pull the screws off. I can pull this form off. I've got solid concrete and I've got a curb, which is why we called it the curb block. We also have this whole wall built out of our compact block, which is the collapsible, which I showed you here. This is our reveal block. The reveal block comes with plywood on it already. And it has a space between the tie and the plywood so that after concrete, we can remove the plywood panels. We've got solid concrete. We would just see a three quarter inch pocket that would have to get um, grouted after. And that's it. Tomorrow we're gonna place concrete into all of this.